phase change metamaterials allow switching, writing and rewriting of meta devices in the field. The implications of this research are profound. As we will see, we can modify, build, erase and rebuild meta devices in the field, allowing innovative approaches to building optical systems. When metamaterials are manufactured, their properties are normally fixed by their design. What we are trying to do is change these static properties into dynamically controlled properties by combining metamaterial concepts with active materials to create meta devices where we can control and switch optical properties on demand. So, I want to present three examples of this using a specific type of active material, a phase change material that can be switched between two or more states when it is excited by stimuli such as heat, electrical current or light. The phase change materials we are using are called chalcogenide glasses. When you shine a laser on these glasses, one type of laser pulse will cause the atoms to become ordered. A different type of pulse will switch them back to a disordered state. You have already used this binary switching behaviour if you've ever used a rewritable CD or phase change RAM. A CD uses two levels of data storage. But by using sophisticated laser systems, we can go beyond this and allow storage with many more levels, significantly increasing the amount of data on a disk. By using a series of femtosecond laser pulses of low energy, we can gradually switch between the two states, giving us access to a range of properties rather than just a pair of states. And as well as high density data storage, it allows us to make much more interesting optical devices. The first example uses a gold metamaterial with a thin chalcogenide film placed on the top. If the chalcogenide is in one phase, the material transmits light. In the other phase, it blocks it. So what we have is a high contrast nano switch with electrical control in a layer a fraction of a wavelength thick. The second example is similar, but is made by structuring the chalcogenide film itself into a metamaterial, removing the need for the gold. This makes it easier to manufacture and with lower optical losses. These switches could be a technology for future optical data handling and active optical components and coatings. The third example goes even further. We now do away with the external structuring altogether and use a charcogenide film as an optical canvas on which we can paint devices using a laser beam. So, here we start with one metamaterial, and by scanning a tightly controlled series of laser pulses across the sample, we can erase it and write another metamaterial pattern, and then, at will, erase that and write a completely different optical element, in this case a Fresnel zone plate, which is then used to focus a laser beam. We can even write completely arbitrary patterns into the surface, such as this demonstration grayscale image of a little girl written into an area smaller than the tip of a human hair. Comparing the grayscale image with the equivalent binary image, as used in CDs, you can see the huge amount more information we can fit into a given space with our writing scheme. Even more exciting is the ability to write a true non-diffracting metamaterial with infrared resonances. So, we can write complex optical devices such as lenses, holograms and metamaterial patterns and this gives interesting opportunities in nanophotonics and high-density data storage.